These are not easy stakes, y'all. These are not easy stakes. Mia Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse. Old man voice. You know I've been there. How was it? It was pretty good. I can't, I mean, I complain about the price, but what do you expect? Even better than the keg? I mean, I'm being careful about what I say. I would say that Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse in Las Vegas was probably better than the keg. I think the keg is like pretty good. It might be like the last good Canadian chain restaurant. What about Earl's? I think the keg might be like the last good Canadian chain restaurant. I'm not like super anti Earl's, but like it's not, it wouldn't be my first choice. Let's put it that way. Milestones? Are you crazy, brother? You know, one time I went to Milestones with my wife. She ordered popcorn shrimp appetizer. They served her as shrimp on a bed of popcorn. And then I think she got like pad thai or something for her main. And then the noodles were like this long. Like whoever cooked it obviously like pulled up the noodles and was like snip, snip, snip. Like people are complaining about the noodles being long. You're lying. I swear to God. And th this milestones then went out of business like three years later. But like it was, it's bad. Milestones, not good. At least that one. This is the same bit as grilled salad. It's not a bit. This is some shit that happened to me in my life. Also, I know we've talked about the grilled lettuce from the, the Gordon Ramsay show in the past. That's like one of the things on Kitchen Nightmares that he made fun of that I was like, I bet that's probably fucking good, man. It's a little bit non-traditional to put the romaine straight on the charcoal, but like it, it looked pretty. I would eat that salad, no doubt. Hey, Anel, were you alive when Montana's had barrels full of peanuts they'd bring around as appetizers? Um, I don't think I ever went to Montana's when it was like that, but definitely I have that exact same story from Eastside Mario's, or as they call it in Canada, Eastside Mario's, a bada boom bada bing. Restaurants, like if you weren't alive in the 90s, it's not your fault, okay? But even shitty restaurants used to be kind of fun. You know what Eastside Mario's? You, while you were waiting for a table, they had shelled peanuts. You could pick them up, and you ate the shells, and you, or you ate the peanut, you threw the shell on the floor. Then at the end of the meal, you, the, the person who paid the bill spun a fucking wheel, and the wheel had shit on it that was like, you know, $20 gift card, free appetizer next time, like buy one, get one free entree, whatever. Take a baguette and Caesar salad home. But then one of the things on the wheel was you gotta sweep up the fucking peanut shells, man. They can't do that shit anymore because they're like, I don't know, because it's owned by a private equity corporation or like the health department would get pissed off or something. It used to be like a game show and like some bad pasta. I mean, enough assholes probably said, I'm not doing that and ruined it for everybody. No, I'm radicalized. What ruined it for everybody is Eastside Mario's decided they didn't want to be a fun restaurant anymore. They wanted to have six locations in every Canadian town, over 50,000 people, which required like streamlining the business and no longer were they in the business of providing a good time. Instead, it's you get the same eggplant parmigiana no matter which city you're in. Then they got sold to like a Brazilian private equity firm or something like that. And now it's not even about the franchisees making money. It's just about siphoning it up to the top. So no, you can't have fun anymore. You got a $24 French onion soup that comes from a Cisco bag that they kept in the back. And you don't get to spin the wheel or eat the peanuts anymore. Some dude in Sao Paulo is loving every minute of it. What do you think about Moxie's? I have a question about bruschetta, okay? When I was a kid, a teenager, 15, 16, anytime me and the lads went to Moxie's, we'd get bruschetta, and I was like, this is the tastiest thing in the, on planet Earth. Garlic bread with pico de gallo essentially on top of it, it's delicious. Went a long time not really eating that much Italian food. Started going out to more Italian restaurants because one of the only foods my daughter actually likes is, is pasta. And every time I'm at a new Italian restaurant, I'm like, we'll start with the bruschetta, okay? Every bruschetta I've had at real Italian restaurants since then paled in comparison to my mind's eye memory of Moxie's. Now, I know that Moxie's is bad. It's the same bagged stuff that I just got on Eastside Mario's for doing. So is it that I didn't know what I was tasting back then? 
or I don't know, man. I don't know. I got bruschetta in Toronto. They put cheese on it. Based, because cheese tastes good. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. 